as an added bonus lesson, I should tell you that you can move these things around. Okay? So, we will be doing that in this lesson. We'll be showing you how to move some tools and stretch them and rotate them. Okay, and basically this is labeled the transpose tool. So we have the move transpose tool, which allows me to click and drag across the object and then grab the center point and then move it. Okay. So I can rotate it, move it this way, and I can get rotated on a different perspective. That way I can line it up very quickly if I jump into you know, the top, front, left, right, just to get that lined up. Okay, so that's the move. Again, that's click and drag, middle, move it. Now you can move the endpoints but you can see this is going to skew your object. To uniformly move it, use this center. Okay. You can scale them if you go to scale with the same transpose line. So click and drag transpose line to scale. You can scale it uniformly based upon the top, uniformly based upon the bottom or in the center and this goes two ways it goes if I click this way it'll reshape it in one axis at a time so I can try to go like that and it gets it fatter and if I click and drag the transpose line this way and try it it gets it taller okay so based upon where you draw your first transpose line. Okay, I'm just going to undo that a couple times. Okay, next is rotate, which is just about the same thing. So I can rotate based upon my transpose line, rotating this as a fulcrum over here, and this being the fulcrum over there. And again, it works just the same way. I can rotate it this way or I can click and drag a transpose line going that way and now it rotates base this way okay now there's more um, also with the addition to I can rotate like the part itself on pieces so this is done by masking if you hold control and alt as you draw out the transpose line you're gonna see that you can mask this and if you do it a couple times you can mask it across you know an uneven surface then when you click and drag the transpose line from here to here and rotate it you're gonna find out that you can rotate it while this is masked now there's a few tricks to this I'm gonna undo this after you do it if you blur the mask over in the masking area when you rotate it you're gonna find that it's got a very even ability to move or I could take and go sharpen mask where now it has no play whatsoever You're also going to find it very easy to clear the mask over here and or move this stuff at a lower level. Let's say I back down to a level of one. Okay. If I clear the mask, hold control and alt. And blur it. I click and drag and then go to a higher level you're gonna find a very even transition between the rotate alright so that is the transpose tool
in a nutshell. We'll be using it all the time in the series, so get used to it. Please go on to the next video.